Wow. Techno is a feeling, man. It's a connection between people at the most basic level. You know, no bullshit, no politics. You know, just love for the music. You know, a universal consciousness, man. That's what techno is. Doesn't matter where you're from, what color you are. Techno is everything, everyone. Describing techno in its simplest form is like a rhythmic blend mixture of frequencies and sounds that is sometimes not so much musically focused as other types of genres as it is focused on just kind of creating like a hypnotic blend of like rhythms and frequencies. Well, the electro that we reference, electro music is based from like electro funk from early New York artists, you know, like Africa Bombata and uh, artists like this, you know, even Cybertron, 808 driven, darker sounds, you know, Drexia and uh, uh, Ox 88, some early underground resistance tracks also had some electro, Final Frontier is a big, probably my favorite track of all time, uh, UR03, that was an electro experiment. Yeah, that's that was my first love of this type of music was electric. Coming from Detroit, I was very influenced by DJs like Delano Smith and like Norm Talley, where it's not so much like a, a disco type of deep house or like the kind of deep house that they play and like. New York, that like Joe Fossil and guys like that are it's a little bit more moody. I don't really play electro, but um, I do play like some variations of house, I guess you could say, like a certain like style of deep house. The gigs that I play, I'm able to kind of create like some range. For me, techno was not just uh, a social music in this sense. Everybody has their own definition of this, but um, when I answered your first question about what techno is, this, connect, this connection between people from different backgrounds, different lifestyles, like all of this has a lot to do with how I approach. Yes, it is dance music at its core, at its base. It, it is dance music. That's what we connect for, that's what people get together for, to kind of lose ourselves in the sound. You know, there's a lot of things that you can, um, a lot of messages that you can put in sound, even without words, you know. So this is something that's very powerful that a lot of people experiment with, you know. We're, Detroit is not the only one that experiments with this, but we have a very deeply rooted um, connection with socio-economical, political ideals that we put in music that can connect with people on a broader scale than just dance clubs, if that makes any sense. Because there's people who struggle all over the planet, and whether they listen to techno or not, you know, with this sound and messages that you can put across, you can connect a lot of people in this way without uh, just having to be in the club and party. You know. So it's very powerful, man. Music is probably one of the most powerful uh, you know, artistic forms that we have on the planet, I think. If not the most popular, so have to take advantage of it.
Detroit uh, influence and like element in my music will like always be there and I feel like it's always like an underlining vibe and my sound that I you know bring as a as a producer and as a DJ I feel like yeah. the concepts behind productions that I'm working on are influenced by music that I listen to so a lot of times I don't I don't listen to a lot of electronic music for the most part I'm actually listening to more experimental bands noise uh, things that have a mixture of electronic synths guitar um, my goal is to actually change a little bit what I don't want to say it's normal now but I want to start mixing more live instruments with this electronic in, uh, in this electro fashion, you know. Um, there was a project that I worked on with Underground Resistance uh, for a while called the Aquanauts, and we kind of experimented with this, uh, these different layers of taking like synth rock with like electro beats or breaks, and um, that's something that I'm actually working on right now to continue to do. So that's where I'm looking to move right now. interesting question like when I first kind of got into the music like I bought my turntables and I like honestly when I got them I wasn't really sure like what I wanted to do like I hadn't really quite been exposed to like techno yet I thought maybe I wanted to mess around with like scratching or like some hip-hop stuff and a friend of mine like introduced me to like house music and techno and showed me the fundamentals of mixing like you know 4x4 four four dance music and like I just latched onto it and kind of that's just where the, the road led you know. You know I was listening to rock music at a very early age um, you know new romantics, new wave, from UK like all types of sounds we were exposed to in Detroit. I'm 33 now and I was 18 at that time when I first bought like turntables and decided to mess around with playing music and stuff yeah, as a DJ. Right. I used to play guitar so I'm, I was influenced by all types of music. It was not just one particular style man and if you grow up in Detroit that's just automatic that you are influenced by so many styles of music. So. came here like people dance a little bit differently than they do in the states and it, it's cool like I like to see that you know different like movements to the way people feel the music and um, yeah you know just, just some little things like that that I noticed but <laughs> I guess at the end of the day for the most part it's still a party so not, nothing too like drastic I don't think there's a difference between artists who play electro in the States versus artists who play in, in Europe. Um, there are a lot of scenes in Europe who kind of took uh, the electro vibe, I guess, that style, that sound, and really kept developing, developing it like a lot further. You know, I give Holland a lot of credit. They have some really good electro artists in Holland, and not just Holland, but all over. But uh, they really like put their stamp on the sound that, like I said, started with some earlier Detroit stuff like Drexia, um, you know, in Ox 88. These groups who kind of like influenced what the electro 
um, it's kind of like turned into today. You know, it's still there. I know it's cool to say that electro is like, uh, some people say that it's like coming back or it's like popular now, but it's like always been there. You know, it's been a little bit popular over the decades at some points, but um, that scene has always been there. There's always been producers to produce that type of music. It's always been around. So it's not just some new thing that just got cool all of a sudden. It's always been, you know, it's always been like a, a normal style of music that we all love.